Hey everyone, welcome to Archland. We have here a tier list for PvE. So we have SR, SSR, R tier list, and also the three main characters are also here. Please note that I won't be discussing the R's. They are what they are. And I won't be discussing any more tiers C and tiers D. Um, I will be starting though with tier B. And guys, before I proceed, please do subscribe to my channel because, again, this really helps my channel a lot. And this um, indicates or tells me whether I'm on the right track with you guys in terms of the content for this channel as well. And uh, also, guys, don't be you know shy. Please do comment down if you think there should be adjustments in this tier list and who should be going where. Should they be going down or up? then put them down in the comment section also don't forget to put a like because um this helps the video and we'll start off with tier b guys we have here layla one of the first assassins i had um on my team when i didn't had um semi and um and the other assassin which is fire clarice so she actually sorry um, my mistake. She actually filled the roster spot for Assassin before. I think she has great potential, especially right now if you are in beginner and mid part of your roster, then she can still be used. But moving forward, do not invest so much resources on her because um, she will be replaced eventually with better assassins on your roster next up is going to be helga this one she is going to be a light mage again helga is all around um i wasn't able to use her because i had uh, i had a healer and i had the mage ready during the time i got her so more or less um i wasn't able to test her out but her kit is really nice again for beginners and the mid game uh uh the only thing is that she'll be overpowered once you have better uh heroes in this game next up is going to be armand armand um assassin and sh and he is lightning so one of a few lightning heroes that we have so again uh, beast be worried that uh, they're gonna be a uh, good in the in, in the beginning or in, in the mid game but not beyond that so again investments keep it down low on developing their kits next up is going to be silva silva is suited for pvp most but not so much with pve do not invest much if you're gonna use her in pve um, although there are a few shooters here, we only have one good shooter here. Not invest much on her. You won't be using her moving forward beyond for the end game. Next up is going to be Peacock. The story of Peacock is she used to be my main warrior when I was starting out. When we were starting out, I wasn't able to get Charlotte. I didn't start uh, by getting Charlotte. I got her instead. And I got Sigurd. So Sigurd and her were my main warriors. But I agree that she, uh, her damage output doesn't really, you know, isn't really good. And it will really have a drastic drop off. So again, she's only be good, be good. She's only going to be good for starting out and up to your mid game and the last on tier b would be Capet, a free unit that we had uh, unfortunately i wasn't able to get Capet for my roster um played the game um two weeks after so he can be very good in pvp um but again um he he he, he uh, she, sorry it's she she is going to be a just going to be there because um, in terms of pvp because of her her strength versus water and um, again for pve i don't think you'll be needing cap it uh more on she's there if you wanna you know if you just need a lightning character for a certain stage but again 
Capet is not going to go beyond the mid game. So, okay, guys, this is your tier A. I had to fix something. There was an overlap in the file. And um, starting off with, you know, for the right side, you have Bellet. Bellet, one of our main characters, together with Avia. Bellet is going to be a good um, fire tank. Uh, if you if you need a fire tank, she's gonna be it because I don't think we have enough defenders yet. But she's gonna be good even up to the end game. Probably a secondary tank. Next uh, beside her is Avia, also going to be a secondary may uh, secondary healer. I don't think she's gonna be a primary unless you're still starting out. But for the end game, she could be a secondary healer. So please um, save a roster spot for her. Soaris. Uh, Sa Sarsi. Something. <laughs> is a warrior. A water warrior. Um, again, you won't be needing her much. Uh, we have a lot of water warriors. So again, um, but she's still good. If you don't have enough warriors at uh, for the end game at tier A. We have here Hassan. Hassan is a darkness mage. Started with Hassan actually. And uh, I was actually using Hassan when I went in some of my lineups as a disruptor, debuffer, you name it. Hassan is still good as your secondary mage if you want, you know, to have him on your roster. So um he has a spot in tier A. Then you have Cassie here, uh, water tank, water tank, <laughs> water tank, no pun intended. So Cassie here is one of our best PVE, it's our PVP tanks at water, but for PVE, she's going to be just okay. Not really a game changer at this point, but again cassie is you know save her as a secondary tank uh for the end game and the last for tier a is going to be ibn atar um he went down for a reason uh based on my last um tier list he's actually i, I put him down because of uh, poor mobility doesn't really stand out that much he can be your secondary you know secondary um, assassin if you need one for the end game so those are your tier a and we're done with tier b we're moving on to tier s which is a lot and, and there is a movement here from the previous tier list we'll start off with saken saken is i think has potential as uh, as a warrior li uh, lightning especially if he goes up uh, to SSR. So Saken, you can have him as your third warrior, secondary warrior. Especially if you need um, a warrior that can combat water. Saken, um, just, you know, build him right. He's going to be your, you know, he's going to be dependable at uh, this point. And the next one besides Saken is going to be Nicholas. Nicholas, um, again, if you don't have any mages to invest in, Nicholas will still carry you through. Um, I didn't invest in Nicholas much because I had a lot of mages in my roster. So definitely I would go with them because they are, you know, in terms of going towards the end game, I'd rather invest in them for real. But Nicholas is one of, you know, the best options if you don't have a primary or a second mage. Next up is going to be Lohanes here. So Lohanes, this priest guy here, um, probably another secondary, you know, secondary healer. If you don't have a secondary healer, secondary to Valak and to Clafare. So again, very good up until the end game. Um, very all around as well. So both Avia and him can really hold the fort as a secondary healer. And the last one, guys, is going to be N Enjard or Enhard. This girl. 
So Edgeard is the last of our SRs who is in tier S. Again, Edgeard is going to be your light, um, light uh, tank. If you don't have Gabriel, definitely Edgeard is is a good substitute. But if you have, um, if you have Gabriel, I don't think you'll be using Edgeard. But again, um, as a sub for Gabriel, she is going. She's, she's going to be perfect for your roster up until the end game, probably as a second tank as well. Okay. And because she is a light tank, she can really defend good in PvE. Okay, guys. So we have... I have moved the screen um, towards your left. We have a couple of SSRs here. A couple who have gone down and gone up. So for Kabir, gone up. Apparently, Kabir... Uh, surprised me in terms of he his uh, overall usability is a tank, although his kit is a mismatch from tank to warrior. Um, I think he is stable enough for the end game because he is of darkness element. So again, he's gonna be there uh, for tier S. Next up is going to be Michael here. Michael tried him out. I tried tried her out. Um, I think she has a perfect role as a very mobile assassin. Although she, you won't rely on her so much in terms of those, you know, those full HP, you know, uh, enemies that she can terminate. But again, she can affect a lot on the battlefield. Buffs, kill um, stranglers or weak enemies she's going to be good and she's at tier s and she's going to be helping you in the end game guys so please make sure that you hold on to her or get her next is going to be nola so far um a bit overall a uh, nice uh, mage to have she shines well more i think in pvp but for pve um she's also nice to have especially with her crits with her damage and taking out, you know, crucial, um, crucial enemy, uh, enemies within the battlefield. I think she will help you with that. Next up is going to be Clarice, one of our free units that we had. So for Clarice, guys, um, if you don't have semi, Clarice would be your second best bet as an assassin, really. Um, a typical assassin, what I mean. For uh, she uses fire. But if you have semi, definitely you're going to use her as a secondary or probably not use her anymore. For my roster, I only need one, two assassins. Actually, I, I'm, I'm using Michael and semi. Not so much for Clarice. But again, she is still going to be a good complement to your roster. Not only for PvP, but also for PvE. Um, next up is going to be Richard. So Richard here. I think Richard is um, very underrated for PV PVE. He shines more in PvP. But again, you cannot really discard what he brings. The stuns are too annoying for me. Um, and I think he is actually good in controlling who comes near and who is going to be stunned or he, who is going to be disabled. So again, he's going to be good with PV PvE. Next up is going to be Alicia. So Alicia is a nice pair for one of the mages that we have for the twins. In terms of the leadership of the twins. A nice healer to have. An alternate um, element, uh, which is darkness. Um, good with heals, buffs, um, cleansing. You name it, she got it. And the last one for S is going to be... Um, she is Lena. So Lena went down because recently we've had additional mages that are better than her at this point. Although she doesn't disappoint when you have her, um, she is going to be just as efficient with Nola. So Lena, good mobility, uh, nice board control when you have, um, have her on your team. Um, again, the only reason why she went down is because we have better mages up there for the end game. So let's proceed to our tier SS. So we only have a few here. So we'll start off with Erica. Okay. 
So for Erica, guys, um, I think, uh, to be honest, I really underestimated her kit. I actually fear her now <laughs> when I come across her, especially in PvP. But for PvE, guys, she's nice to have with either... She can, she can dish out a little bit of AoE, but her assassinations from afar are superb so i still have to look for her i don't have her yet in my roster but again hopefully i could get her soon um it would be nice and she's the best shooter right now in this game so might as well you know uh build her up again as your additional dps shooter and assassin from afar so we have here next is the next one is a tomb uh best Probably the best mage for fire. Um, nice survivability, nice damage. Nice damage over time as well. So don't count him out. Uh, next one is going to be the twins, Susie and Susan. They've been my main um, mage mages so far. Uh, in terms of damage dealing, debuffs, they, they've been my, my main. They disrupt so much and deal big damage. Um, Fantastic for the end game. Uh, instead, of, I I don't have Erica. Oops, I don't have Erica. So both of them are actually my assassins uh, in terms of uh, dealing damage from afar. So I'm so far I'm happy with using them. The so next up is going to be Catherine. Catherine here, um, nice kid to have a disruptor. Good with good damage as well for a mage. Um, Good distraction in terms of creating havoc in the field. Good. Um, I built her with the uh, giving buffs. So again, I'm I she's she's very all around. Just have to make sure that she she is she can survive damages until you have your healer, you know, bring up her HP. But again, she is going to be one of your best mages moving forward, uh, especially for the end game. Next up is Gabriel, our top tank so far for the game. Um, light tank, best counter strike, best in defense for me for PVE. Can't complain more. She's the best tank for PVE, hands down. Um, again, I, I can't express so much in terms of what she gives my team. The counter attacks, the escort, the damage she brings. She's too good. And next up is Valak. So Valak is actually one of um, our healers that can be your primary healer. Not only not only for Clafare, but she can Valak can be your primary healer. Um very, very interesting way of you know of playing her. Not just heals, uh, giving giving buffs giving damage as well while you're healing you know your ally so again she is good with board control as well um, additional damage if you want more spice other than healing then Valak would be your girl and the last for SS is going to be Jin so Jin is new um, the only reason why Jin is not an SS because if you compare him with Charlotte Charlotte still has, in terms of damage output, she's gonna, she's crazy, man. Compared to this guy, um, and his playstyle is different. He's more of a debuff, debuff. Come near me, I'll counter attack you. It's actually how how his role is. So again, while his kit is interesting, um, I think Charlotte still takes the cake in terms of best warrior for water. So. Uh, he stands here at SS with the rest of the gang. And finally, guys, we have here SS. So you know them. I'll start off with uh, Marguerite. How can I say this? Um, so far, I think she edges everyone as best mage. Very versatile. Can do teleport allies transfer buffs give buffs deal damage 
give buffs. And again, I'll, she has two builds that I actually discussed in in her build guide. So there are there is a lot of there's a lot of uh, things to be desired in terms of using her in your team. She she can control a lot of things um, together with um, with Clafare. If you have them on your team, then you can control the board really. Um, can't say more uh, about this girl, but she has. She's going to be. She's she's gonna be crazy OP, especially if you have all of her skills unlocked. That is what I'm saying, guys. Um, uh, right now, I have barely scratched the surface in terms of uh, um, giving her the right kind of gear and everything. And including the equipment, I just still don't have her her unique equipment. But again, she has the complete package, guys. In terms of buffs, uh, share buffs, copy buffs. In terms of uh, teleport. In terms of damage dealing. Uh, the buffs that she gives herself. Uh, tremendous, tremendous uh, mage. Can't say more. Can't say more. But uh, we're going to be moving on to Sighard here. Uh, I just realized that Sighard and Charlotte in terms of damage output and survivability are actually at par. Uh, especially now that um, you guys have a higher level Sighard. Wish you got him in that selector. And we rerolled for him. Because some I think got, um, got Nola. Some got Lina. Some, most of you guys didn't get him because you wanted a mage to pair with Charlotte. But I, I actually had, you know, had my, had a part of my brain say that this guy is going to be going places, and he really went to the top because of not only his built-in survivability in terms of gaining HP. But also the damage that uh, he he dishes out. Both Charlotte and him are are just uh, the same in terms of damage output. The problem with him is only water. But now I think he can take damage more. But again, water or a enemy which has Charlotte is going to actually mince him. That's the only weakness that he has. But apart from that. Um, overall survivability and damage is really on par with, with Charlotte. Next up is Semi. Um, best, again, best assassin. Best archetype. Best uh, usual archetype for an assassin. Uh, very, very nice dodge. High damage. High mobility. What else can you ask? Next up is Clofare. Again, best healer. So all of the top are the best. Uh, except for warrior, you have two. So best, best mage, best um, assassin, best healer for Clafare. Heals. Sorry, excuse me. Heals for days. Again, can't really, you know, can't say enough. Heals for days. Uh, take another turn after this one. Uh, and her cooldown is actually perfect. She has usually one heal per turn. That is what I like about her. And the last one, of course. You guys know Charlotte. Damage, multiple attacks. Uh, depends on how you build her. Terrific, terrific. I don't think Jin will be able to, you know, to compete with her in terms of damage output. Uh, Jin but is good with first strike. That's for sure. But Charlotte is the best so far the best hero that we have so if you guys still have his her banner and if you're still beginning this game please get her she'll really help you in terms of clearing out stages as you move along in the story so that is it pretty much a very long tier list and anyway guys if you have any questions if you have any rebuttals on this tier list uh please let me know in the comment section. I will also share this tier list to you guys in the description. Please do check them out. And please do subscribe to my channel, guys. Because, again, it helps me a lot. So thank you very much. Stay safe. Take care. 
This is the warden, and I'm out of here.